Mandela affected folk are individuals whom have switched timelines, dimensions. Those that don't see any changes are either native to this timeline, or they are just plain ignorant. By native, I mean they were born here, in this timeline. Mandela affected folk, on the other hand, were not. Despite it being known as the Mandela effect, the name is somewhat misleading and the majority of those affected, by affected I mean, able to recognize alterations made to timelines, dimensions, would much prefer if it were called the quantum effect, instead. A great many of us have come to realize the latest developments in quantum computing and artificial intelligence, particularly the D-Wave quantum computers, and experiments conducted by scientists at CERN appear to have a great deal to do with it all. A great many are also aware of the changes being made to biblical scripture. I've put together a short list of some of the, in my opinion, important aspects to the Mandela effect. Number 1. For the past 2,000 years or so, a selection of self-chosen, elite family bloodlines have been running this world. They are otherwise known as the Cabal, the New World Order, or the Illuminate. Number 2. They are satanic by nature. Number 3. CERN has been used to perform high-tech, black magic rituals, the ultimate aim being to bring back the gods, demons, interdimensional entities of antiquity, whom they worship. Or in other words, the Antichrist. Number 4. The whole Mandela experience also tends to be an intensely spiritual one too. Number 5. Our physical reality is akin to a very realistic computer simulation, I like to use the term, Earth Matrix. Number 6. The soul, spirit, consciousness is the real you, not the physical body you're inhabiting at present.